Hi everybody and welcome to video number 17 of the AdWords Editor video training course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In this video we're going to put together everything we've learned from the past 16 videos. We're going to actually start creating a campaign. The first step will be the keyword research process. In this example and going forward I'm probably going to move a little bit quick but that's because of time and that's because you could always pause the video at any time. So to get started, I chose a niche. It's going to be a service campaign. It's going to be for nose surgeons within a given geotargeted area. So we're going to do that. Um, the keywords are going to be around nose surgery, rhinoplasty, and so on. So let's get started. Um, if I go a little bit too fast, just pause the video or you know rewatch it. So here we go, we're going to start out. I'm going to use PPC Keyword Generator. This is a free tool from Overzone. Um, I have a downloadable version of it on my website. Let's start out by just thinking of what types of terms are in the nose or nasal surgery, plastic surgery business. And nose, um, the obvious one, nasal, and rhinoplasty. So let's start with there, and then we want to think about if we are a plastic surgeon, what kind of terms are we going to be targeting? Well, we're going to be targeting people looking for surgery, surgeon, surgeons, and we're just going to start there. And probably the most of the people will be looking for a geotargeted location as well, but we're not going to muddy the waters with that just yet. So let's copy these keywords, paste them in here. Let's do only show related close terms to my ideas. Hit search. And then I also like to just put it on exact match rather than broad match. And here we can get other keyword ideas. So let's download these keywords. So we're downloading it to Excel. What you can do then is take the keywords and you can just sort, let's actually do a find and replace so we're going to find a dash and we're going to replace it with nothing this way we can sort by going up to the data tab and hitting sort we're going to do local monthly searches from largest to smallest so now if we jump to the top here we can see the obvious ones nose surgery, nose surgery costs nasal surgery, rhinoplasty surgery. So these are the things that are most important to people looking for nose surgery. So what I will do is I will take these top keywords here to get more ideas. I'll just go up here, throw them in, hit search, and then maybe I will uncheck this box here and hit search. And then I will say the keyword must contain nose, nasal, or rhinoplasty if I don't see relevant results down here. So can, we can see like plastic surgery photos, that's not relevant. We can see um, plastic surgery costs, it's too broad. So I'm going to say it must contain nose, noses, nasal, and rhinoplasty. So that means these keywords down here must contain those words. So now we have our words here. Let's download some, the, some of these here. So we have two lists here of keyword ideas. I'm going to cut them from here. I'm going to jump to the bottom here and paste them into this one list. So we have one, one just one long list. Then I'm going to remove duplicates. based on the keyword we see 172 duplicates were removed I will copy these keywords here I will go into AdWords editor and since we're starting new let's go to open account and you can open your real AdWords account or you can just add a draft account for now for this purpose I'm just going to add a draft account so we're gonna call this rhinoplasty as our campaign draft account. 
So then, add CPC campaign, select it, go to the Add Group tab, hit Add Add Group, expand it, go to the Add Add Group tab, and go to the Keyword tab here, and then hit Make Multiple Changes. And what we're doing is we're putting these keywords that we just found into this ad group, ad group number one that we just created. Preview it, make sure the header says Keyword, hit Process, and we have 844 keywords, keep proposed changes. And now I want to see any keywords that do not contain nose, nasal, or rhinoplasty. So let's use advanced search. And we will say keyword does not contain. And then we can see every single keyword has at least one of those words in it. So we know these keywords are relevant to nose, nasal, or rhinoplasty. The question is, are they relevant to surgery? So we could go here and we can say surgery, surgeons, surgeons, and I also saw one that said doctor, doctors, because we are offering a service here. We want to see keywords that don't contain these types of keywords. So we see cost, that would be relevant, prices, Polyp, not really sure what that is, could be relevant, so let's do a quick research here. Nose, polyp, it looks like it is some kind of condition. For now, I'm going to say that's not relevant. Someone looking for a nose polyp information may not be looking for surgery. But what we're trying to do, actually let's pull up notepad here. We're trying to pick out words that are relevant. So surgeries we know is relevant. Cost, costs, price, prices. Surgical, that's a relevant word. Reduction. And let's put those keywords in here to show us everything that does not contain that. Nose job, nose jobs, bad nose jobs. We know that's not relevant. Remedies. Photos. And we can see a lot of keywords that are relevant, however, they are geo-targeted or very broad. Nose implants. So let's just see what happens if we remove these. I'm going to control X to cut them out. I'm going to create a new group. I'm going to go into that group. I'm just going to paste these because these may not be relevant, but they might be, so I don't have time to sort through them right now. But let's see what we end up with right now. We can see we have 575 keywords that are very relevant to surgery, cost, price, and surgeon. So these are people looking for services or information about the services. So these would be probably the best type of keywords you could target. The problem is we can see Los Angeles or in New Jersey. So now we need to remove somehow the keywords that have these geo-targeted intent just to get them down to the basic keywords. I've actually created a tool that allows me to do that. So what I did right now is I just copied all these keywords from here. I went to Excel. You can paste them and then you can take these keywords right here and I'm going to use a keyword tool that is called Keyword Classifier and this will help anyone strip out any geo-targeted intent from their keyword list. So there are pre-populated lists and it's basically a bulk find and replace tool. So we can find anything that has these countries in it, replace it with nothing for now because we're trying to remove it. And then we hit remove duplicates and we can see there were no countries in this list. Then you can go to 
a state, so we're removing all United States state names, hit replace, remove duplicates, and we can see our keyword list shrunk from 575 to 563, and then I just transfer them back from this side to this side. So now we're going to look for US state abbreviations, and we're going to re replace them with nothing, hit replace, remove duplicates, and what we're doing is we're stripping out the geotargeted intent from these keywords so we can just get right down to the root. Hit replace for all cities and we have 516. So we start out with 575 keywords, we're down to 516. We can still see that there are some keywords with geotargeted intent like NYC, that's New York City. So in our city list here, let's just put NYC. And let's replace. Remove duplicates, we're down to 504. And for the sake of time, I'm just going to copy all of these. Hopefully the geotargeted intent has been removed from them. I'm, gonna re I'm just gonna delete everything within this group that we had. Make multiple changes, paste in the new keywords process them. We have 504 now. And you can see that they are a lot more specific. They're pretty much stripped down to their bare keyword that people search for without the geotargeted intent. Now what we could do is we could group these keywords. And we could see Ashley Simpson, that's not relevant. So you'll want to go through your keyword list. I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup here. Um, and then the next video we're going to group our keywords using AdWords Editor. So I will see you in the next video.